So please welcome um, Tianga Shamini Talagala from the University of Srijayavardhanapura <laughs> in Sri Lanka. Um, she will share her uh, Dengue Data Hub, a centralized repository for Dengue related data. And uh, we'll start a video here and then um, and then uh, Tianga will be available for questions. Hello, everyone. I'm Tianga Talagala from the University of Sri Java, Dhanapura, Sri Lanka. Currently, I'm working as a senior lecturer in the Department of Statistics. In this talk, I'm going to introduce the Dengue Data Hub, a centralized repository for dengue related data. Dengue is a mosquito borne viral infection ranked among the top 10 global threats by the World Health Organization. One of the challenges we face in combating dengue fever is the absence of a specific treatment. Hence, it is a global issue that demands our attention and concerted efforts. This map shows the dengue endemic areas. Dengue is endemic in most tropical and subtropical countries. The reason is mosquitoes thrive in warm and humid environments. Some specific weather conditions that that are favorable for mosquitoes include temperature 25 to 30 degrees Celsius, high humidity levels, mosquitoes require water to lay eggs and complete their life cycle. Mosquitoes lay their eggs in stagnant water resources such as ponds, water filled containers and even discarded tiles. They often seek shelter in areas with dense vegetation. According to the World Health Organization, about half of the world's population is now at risk of dengue with an estimated 100 to 400 million infections occurring each year. Small bite, big threat is the theme of World Health Day in 2014. This describes the potential danger posed by mosquitoes. Hence, it is crucial that we come together, exchange knowledge, and explore innovative strategies to tackle dengue fever effectively. Dengue research flow often starts with data collection, next data analysis, and finally communication of results. The most time-consuming and costly aspect of research is often data collection. To overcome this, I build Dengue Data Hub. Dengue Data Hub aims to provide a one-stop shop for researchers and public health practitioners looking to gain insight into dengue and improve health outcomes. This project is funded under our consortium ISE grant. I have updated the theme from small byte big threat to small byte a small data big impact to emphasize the potential impact of impact of data in today's world. Now we will look at where this is being established. This is the website. 
Dengi Data Hub Netlify app. Our website provides a home for our Dengi Data Hub. It offers a wealth of resources to support researchers and analysts with a diverse range of examples, R codes, tutorials, and interactive visualizations. We also have an R package. Through this, you can get access to data in the hub. The package is published on CRAN and you can find the development of uh, development version of the package through my GitHub account. To whom? This is for researchers, teachers, epidemiologists, public health officials, medical practitioners, as well as national and international organizations. Dengue Data Hub provides valuable resources for teachers who are educating students about dengue. Others can use the hub to collaborate with other experts and exchange information. Further, the data can assist them in making informed decisions, implementing preventing measures, and allocating resources effectively to manage a dengue outbreak. What do we have and how to use? Currently, we have nine data, set, uh, data sets. We collected these data based on trusted resources from all over the globe to give you accurate, up-to-date information. Let's look at a few of the uh, data sets. Uh, this data set is called Level of Risk. Uh, this provides information related to le level of risk in uh, level of risk in each country. We have information of uh, we have this information for forty seven regions in Africa, forty three regions in Americas, uh, twenty six regions in Asia, and twenty two uh, regions in Oceania and Pacific Islands. Uh, the the level of risk are uh, they are classified like this. Next world data, we have a uh, annual uh, dengue incidents for two hundred and twenty five countries uh, from nineteen ninety to two thousand nineteen for Sri Lanka. We have dengue weekly dengue counts for all of for all of the districts from two thousand six to two thousand and twenty three. Uh, the data uh, were extracted from weekly epidemiological reports published by the Ministry of uh, uh, published by the Ministry of Health, Sri Lanka. This is a snapshot of the full data set. We have a district name. We have the starting date of the week, end date of the week, uh, year, week number, and cases. Next, for China, we have ten annual dengue incidents from 2005 to 2020. We have dengue cases, uh, number of indigenous dengue cases, number of imported dengue cases, number of counties with dengue fever, number of uh, counties with uh, dengue fever in, in uh, indigenous, and number of counties with dengue fever imported. We also have weekly dengue counts for Singapore. For other data set, 
uh, please visit uh, the Dengue Data Hub uh, uh, package or else uh, the website. Furthermore, we have some common functions uh, that are useful for visualizing Dengue data. In addition to that, we also have an interactive dashboard uh, to view the data. For those who are not uh, familiar with our coding, they can use the app to download related data. This is a quick, quick demo on how to use the app. Furthermore, we have some interactive data visualizations. Here I visualize the hierarchical, uh, hierarchical relationship in uh, dengue uh, counts for Sri Lanka. Here we have bottom level shows the uh, dengue uh, districts, and this level shows the corresponds to the uh, province, and this level corresponds to the whole country. When you click, it will show the uh, uh, time series corresponds to dengue count for that particular district. How to collaborate? Uh, you can collaborate by adding data, fixing issues and documentation. I invited researchers, public health practitioners, and other interested parties to explore our data set and collaborate with us. Thank you for listening. So thank you for the video then. Um... Uh, our pre presenter is still available for uh, questions, and I'm going to go to the chat here. Um, uh, we have a couple of comments um, about uh, dengue fever, um, and uh, if you want to say anything about that, or if you want to just talk more about uh, the research, then we can um, also look for I'll look for some questions in the Q and A here as well. Well, at the moment, I have only the secondary data. Uh, I'm currently working on looking at clinical trial data. Uh, publishing clinical trial data is a challenging because uh, we need to do some uh, some few things to protect data privacy issues. Uh, but if anybody would like to share the data, uh, then that would be great. Then the other people can also use the data uh, and they can save their time and cost and they can give more focus to the data analysis and data visualization rather than spending their time on uh, data collection. Uh, data collection. And the other people can also have uh, also look into the same data set in a different angle. The next question we have uh, is, from Peter um, Higgins, are there overall longitudinal trends? Yes, uh, we have longitudinal trends, and we also have a, a in the if you observe the a pattern of the time series data, uh, uh, the uh, the, uh, the strength of seasonality is very high because dengue is uh, very much associated with the climate climatic factors. Uh, Oh, we have a strong as uh, we have a strong seasonality as well as a strong tr trend pattern. The next question comes from Brianna Hoffman. Is there more information on the website about adding your own data to the hub? Uh, yes, I have linked the website to my GitHub uh, prof, uh, GitHub account. So if anybody wants to collaborate, they can open an issue on the GitHub. Also, I have a code of conduct uh, on uh, when it comes to collaboration and use, uh, there's a code of conduct specified on the website. Uh, but there is no way to directly add the uh, data to the website. Uh, the only way that they can add data is opening an issue on, uh, on the, my GitHub account associated to the package. 
uh, which I can uh, check later and add as a add into the package as a component. Wonderful, thank you. Uh, the next question, uh, again, from uh, Dr. Peter Higgins, uh, does it appear that there are trends of global warming of with global warming of dengue cases increasing at higher latitudes or further from the equator? All right. So actually, that's a great question. Um, I haven't checked that how these uh, patterns vary according to the longitude and latitude. Uh, yeah, so thank you very much for bringing that out. I should uh, definitely check that out. Great, thank you. Um, so next question, uh, do you use your data to evaluate public health in interventions? Um, uh, I, at the moment, I have data related to dengue cases, uh, but I don't have any information related to the public interventions, uh, such as school opening or some festive seasons, uh, I don't have that information for all of, all of the countries uh, at the moment that the hub is purely all of the data sets are purely about the dengue cases or the level of risk uh, specified by the World Health Organization. Great, thank you. Um, I don't know if you want to uh, say anything else about um, your experience with this. Um, uh, we we do have a little more time um, if folks want to ask any any more questions. Um, we've got um, another uh, quick question: Is there real world data for the dengue vaccine? Mm -hmm. uh, what's the question? Is it a data source, real world? Um, I'll, I'll read from the chat here. Uh, a new dengue vaccine is approved for use in children age, aged 9 to 16 years with laboratory confirmed previous dengue virus infection and living in areas where dengue is endemic. Endemic areas include some U.S. territories and freely associated states. The vaccine is not approved for use, use in U.S. travelers who are visiting but not living in area where dengue is common. Um, and so we're assuming it's only starting to be used in some countries because it was approved in 2021. And so the, the question again was, um, is there uh, real world data for the dengue vaccine? Um, th this is a news for me uh, because of, uh, uh, I'm from Sri Lanka. Is Sri Lanka is one of the most uh, um, uh, most uh, one of the critical countries that been suffering from dengue. Uh, in Sri Lanka, we don't have a vaccine. Uh, people are testing on about uh, on developing a vaccine, uh, so I don't have any information related to the vaccine information. But I will definitely check that out. Uh, out that you, that would be a, a valuable addition uh, to the dengue data hub. Great. And if you have any final remarks, we do have a, um, a you do have a little bit um, more time. Um, uh, the vaccine information was um, put in the chat there for um, folks who are following that conversation. And again, folks are saying thank you so much for uh, for staying up so late in your um, time zone. We realize it's uh, you know it's uh, it's quite the commitment <laughs> to to bringing this information to us. So really, really appreciate your talk. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. If you would like to share your data and if you would like to announce the data, uh, if you would like to announce, the, if you want to uh, add the voice to your data, uh, please feel free to add it into the, uh, please feel free to uh, contact and uh, share it with the world. Thank you very much. Wonderful. And you're getting lots of, uh, lots of appreciation in the chat there too. So I hope you see this. Thank you. So thank you, Tianga. Tian 